my name is Peter Parfit and in the next few minutes I'm going to be talking to you about some wood finishing products uh, made by a company called Osmo. Now a friend of mine recommended I use Osmo UV protection oil when I was making this gate and I brought the gate back in so that you can see it. And I was so impressed with the Osmo oil that I bought then that I wrote to Osmo and I said look how about me demoing and reviewing some of your products and so they've sent me a couple of samples as my original stuff there which I bought but there's a couple of samples they've sent and I intend to tell you about these in the next few minutes. Now the way I'm going to go about this is quite simple. The product I bought which I used on this gate which is their clear UV protection oil uh, I'm going to use my gate uh, as the test piece for that. It's already had some weather and it's going to see a bit more this summer, I suspect. I've got a gate post here and I'm going to try the Osmo Oak Transparent Protection Oil on that. It's a UV protection oil. Now there are two internal products, there's top oil and door oil and I've got as test pieces a couple of offcuts of oak flooring here. So let's go about it. Now this is the product that I've used on this gate. It's the Osmo UV Protection and it's the product number 420 and it is clear satin matte. Now I applied this with a brush, I applied two coats as recommended and I left, actually I left it 24 hours between coats. And you can see that it's darkened wood slightly. This is the colour of the original Idigbo, which I used on this gate. And here is the same wood uh, where I used uh, just a, a coating of uh, something very similar to Danish oil. And you can see that when you apply any product, even though it says it's clear, it's going to darken the wood uh, a little. And you should do a test piece in case it's important to you. Uh, but you'd expect any wood with virtually any product, particularly one with wax in, to make a very slight change to the external colour. But that's the gate, I'm going to put it back up and it's going to be uh, in the weather now for uh, several weeks. It's had several weeks of weather, in fact several months of weather already, ranging from uh, heavy rain uh, to very strong sunlight. Uh, and it looks exactly the same, it feels exactly the same as it did when it went out there. So, uh, I'm very pleased with the Osmo oil that I bought three months ago. Now, on this gatepost, we're going to use the Osmo UV Protection 425 Oak Transparent. Now, it's got a very slight pigmentation in it, very, very slight indeed, but more importantly, uh, it's got the UV protection and the antifungal uh, uh, ingredients to help preserve anything that's going to be outside in the wind, rain and weather. I'm going to use it on this post. Now, the very first time you open a tin of Osmo oil, as I did when I bought the, uh, the clear finish which I used on the gate, was that you notice that the, the tin is lined uh, with plastic. So that means that when you've finished applying your coat of uh, Osmo oil and you put the tin back on the shelf, when you come to use it again next year or in five years time or whenever it might be, that tin will not have rusted away. That product will be still uncontaminated by the rusting can. So uh, that is a great feature and it really was something that impressed me from the work go. So I'm going to apply this now. I'm, I'm not going to film the whole thing uh, and you'll just see how I get off. Now I'm just using ordinary uh, bristle brush uh, to apply this, uh, nothing special about the brush at all, and I'm giving it uh, just a, a reasonably generous coating, uh, but I'm not uh, slapping on really thick. Now one of the things you notice when you use Osmo oil for the first time, it feels as it's brushing on, as though it's slightly thick, it's a little bit like trying to spread olive oil <laughs> onto something. Uh, but after a couple of brush strokes, uh, you can detect that it's gone into the surface of the wood uh, and uh, you can see that it goes on nice and evenly. Now that went on very easily and only took a few minutes, so uh, it's easy to apply. And uh, I'm now going to wash my brush out. Now I don't have any of the proprietary Osmo brush cleaning stuff, I'm just going to use some white spirit. I clean up the edge of the tin lid, uh, I've cleaned up that as well. 
and I'm going to put this on very, very carefully and make sure that that's nice and airtight. So that will now go in the cupboard uh, until I need it next. And if it's on this post, I should think it'll probably be several years from now. Well, I've followed the instructions uh, carefully. I've, uh, after sanding, I've uh, very carefully vacuumed off the surfaces uh, that I'm going to apply the oil to. And we've, we've got uh, door oil and top oil. And so that's this way around. And I've sanded uh, actually down to 240 grit because the grits I have go from uh, 120 straight to 240. So uh, that's where I ended up. I've got uh, a pair of uh, bristle brushes, again as per Osmo's instructions, and I'm going to put a thin coating uh, on each of these now. It's important that uh, you give the tins a really good shake, it says so in the instructions. So I'm doing that, and I'm going to start with the top oil. And I'm not pouring any out, because it's such a small uh, surface, I'm going to do it straight from the tin. And, gosh, I can see already um, the effect that this is having, how interesting. Um, again, when I make a comparison to other treatments, I would say this feels slightly thicker when it's going on, but as I brush it, it brushes down to... Uh, the most fine satin surface. Well, that's gone really easily and I have done it fairly sparingly and already I can see that it's built up quite a nice little sheen and uh, yeah, that's, I'm pleased with that. So let's try the door oil now. Again, really good shake. Just make sure yes, this is door oil. And again, a bristle brush, and I'm going to apply it sparingly again. So here we go. And this actually feels slightly thinner uh, than the top oil. Uh, it goes on equally as easy. And again, quite a nice looking sheen. We'll see what that's like when it's dried. Right, I'm, I'm going to try a little experiment now. I've got the original tin that I bought of the outdoor UV protection. It's the 420 clear satin mat. And this is what I used on the gate. And I've got here a handle uh, for a pitchfork. And I use uh, a fork to turn my compost. Um, uh, and this fork lives outside all year round. And so I thought, well, why don't I give it a, a quick treatment with the Osmo? And so here it goes. And this will be really interesting because uh, this is a beautiful piece of ash, uh, and the grain uh, on it, uh, I can see, is, is lovely. But it hasn't been sanded especially well. Uh, it's uh, smooth enough to use as a fork handle. Uh, but it's not, not quite as well prepared as the gate that I made. But anyway, this will be interesting to see what it turns out like. Now I shook the tin vigorously before I started, and I made sure that there was no dust on this piece of ash before I started to apply the Osmo oil. But I'm not forgetting the end grain. I expect this one to last more than five years, which is all the old one lasted, but then I hadn't treated the old one with Osmo oil or anything else. Now this isn't going to be a work of art, it's going to be just put somewhere in a corner to uh, dry. Well let's uh, do a quick progress report and I'm going to start with this uh, fork uh, with its new ash handle uh, that I've put on. Now I've given this two coats, now although I can't tell you how well this is going to stand up to the wind and rain, this fork with its handle are going out there now and it really is raining here. Well this is the ash handle on my fork and it's been out here in the rain now for over a week. In fact this is the first dry day we've had uh, for a long time. 
and it looks brilliant it feels just as smooth as it was before no discoloration and it is perfect right this is the piece of oak with the top oil on and what I've done is I've put some red wine onto the bottom of this wine bottle and stood it there and there's a couple of drips of wine as well uh, on the surface I put some ketchup uh, in a blob just there uh, and those have been there now for about seven hours well let's have a quick look I'll take that uh, wine bottle away let's give this away right now I don't know if you can see that in the camera but I can see there is not a single trace of where that wine was and let's clear up the ketchup and there is absolutely no trace whatsoever and both have been there for over seven hours right it's time for me to tell you what I think of these Osmo oils and I'm going to start with the top oil now you've just seen that demonstration of the wine and the ketchup on this piece of board and it had been there for seven hours in fact a little more than that and there's absolutely no trace of where it was nothing whatsoever so for me that is absolutely full marks I've already told you how impressed I was with the door oil, it's a lovely finish, I haven't splashed it with anything or tested it, it's quite clear it's quite a resilient product, uh, and it's got a lovely finish to it and I haven't wire walled this or anything, that's just two coats with no sanding in between, so that's quite impressive. Now I'm going to start on the outdoor products with the original one that I purchased over three months ago. It's the Osmo UV Protection Clear Satin Mat and the product code is 420. And this is the one that I showed you on my fork handle. And that's been out in the rain for over a week and it's doing very well. I think I probably have to retreat it every six months because it's getting quite a lot of uh, bashing around and wear and tear from uh, being used as a tool. Now it's also the product that I've used on that small side gate and I'm showing you some photographs now of it in situ uh, and it's doing really well. And the close-ups will show I think some water droplets even sitting on the surface and this last three months we've had a heck of a lot of rain uh, we've had some bright sunshine as well and there's no sign of any deterioration in that side gate whatsoever I really recommend uh, this clear satin mat UV protection oil now the second outdoor product is the Osmo UV protection oak transparent and its product code is 425 now this is what I used on that oak gate post which is holding up the side gate that I made and then I've also used this on a five bar gate uh, which had never had any form of treatment or protection in its 18 months since it was put up and it's starting to look a bit sad I'm pretty sure the wood underneath is Idigbo um, and I think that the, the one coat that I've applied of this uh, oak transparent has started to revive it. It would benefit from a second coat, but I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet because of the amount of rain we've had. Uh, but already it's starting to look much better. Well, that's it now. Uh, I think you'll agree with me that the four products that I've been testing have been pretty good. I was very impressed with the top oil after that red wine and ketchup. No stain, no, no sign of it whatsoever. I'm sorry that the uh, door oil can is a bit bashed. Uh, you can blame the delivery driver who dropped it literally at my feet uh, when he arrived in the driveway. So overall, I'd say, yep, go and use these products, follow the manufacturer's instructions, use them as they're recommended, and you will not be disappointed. And I'm certainly going to continue to use their products. It's time for supper now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.